Hello, my name is Robert Marquez. In this video, I'll be talking about Model View Presenter, creating services. This is the fourth video in a series that I've been working on. Let's get started. So as I mentioned, we'll be talking about the service layer in this video. And for this service layer, we'll create a new project in our Visual Studio solution. From there, we'll create a folder for department services. Actually, yes, a department services folder under the services area. We'll also create a common services folder for services that can be shared between other folders. We're going to have a repository interface file created, which will be used by the repository so that it will know which services it needs to fulfill for the department service object. The repository interface is going to be an interface that is inherited by the department service interface file itself. And so this file, the department services interface, will have a, an accumulation of services between the two that are available. The department services interface file is going to be used by the presenter so that it knows what services are available. And of course, the department service interface will also be used by the department service class as well so that it ensures to implement the services that the presenter, presenter will need. Now you're going to see some repeat of operations like there's a get all in the department service area. There's also a get all in the repository. So the department service is basically just calling it from the repository and letting the repository do the work. The presenter will need to make the same call, but it will make that call through its service. So a presenter will have a service and it will ask the service perform a get all and the service in turn will perform a get all by asking the repository to do it. It's in the repository where you're going to have the actual database operations or APIs being called down here. Another player in this is the in, under the common services area, there is a model data annotation check interface file that will be used also by the department service that is for a model data annotation check class that's out here in the service area and the value here is going to be a general use validate model method and so that's why you will see that uh, here and uh, it will be implemented it will, it will sh it's also shows up in the department services interface so to go further, uh, let's go and in, uh, into the, our Visual Studio now and see how this all works. Before we do, I want to mention it's going to take several videos to cover the service layer. In this video today, right now, this one, we will not cover the repository. We're not going to create a repository. And we're a bit far right now from creating a GUI, the presentation layer. We're only going to have time to really talk about this area here, the interface files, the the construction of the folders and some classes like the class here for validation. With that, let's go forward now and see how this is done in Visual Studio. We will begin by adding a new project to our solution for the service layer, we'll choose a .NET framework, call it service layer. We'll create some folders. Common services for services shared. Another one for the main services is called services. And since we're working on department model, we're going to call it a department service. Department services actually. This layer will need to communicate with the domain layer to get at the department models, so we'll add a reference to it. That's a there we go, project reference. And now we'll create an I repository interface file. So 
So this is I actually department. repository file I department repository this will be for the repository to know what it needs to fulfill for the service the typical functions will go in here such as add Update. Delete. These three will take department model as a parameter. We'll need two more, one that returns a collection enumerable of department model this will be for our get all return a collection of department models and another that just returns one department model get by ID I would take an integer and an ID parameter. Let's create a department service interface file. And this functionality of validate model is actually going to be implemented in our common services area. So let's go ahead and add a class in there. And we'll call it model data annotation check void validate model t domain model. We're going to use a generic here and t domain model domain model we'll go ahead and start adding the content now for the validation model Start out with a collection to hold the results. We'll be 
put into a validation result object that um, we'll have to add that component model for visibility. Let's see. Component model. We'll add this. And now. There we go. Moving forward. So we'll put this into a list. Validation result objects. We'll have a validation context which identifies what it is we're actually validating. And it is a domain model that we have passed in that we will be validating. We'll add a string builder to store our results as well. This will be put in on a return. It'll be easier to look at when we use unit testing. We'll check the condition now. After the validation has been run, we'll check the status, domain model, feed it the validation context, and we'll have this validation result list as well. Okay, we will say true. We want to check all the properties in that model file. And now let's iterate over the collection of found errors. Validation result in the validation result list. Now let's go to our string builder so we can save it. So we have a validation result, validation result. Error message we're interested in. And once we're done loading it up, we'll check to see if there's any er errors that were collected. Since it's a collection, I'll, I'm only going to check to see if there's something in the collection. So validation result list. If the count is greater than zero, we have a problem. At this point then, we'll go ahead and throw an error, an exception actually. And we'll feed in the string builder. So 
So this will have appended strings of errors that will show very easily in the unit testing when we do that. Everything looks fine. At this point, let's make sure let's make sure we have a interface file here. So we'll go ahead and create one. All right, we have an interface file for this. And let's go back to the department services folder. And we'll call this department services. Go ahead and reference our interface files now. And we'll add a few fields. Time for a constructor. We'll be passing in the Let's do some assignments here. we have our fields and a constructor and we need something here okay before I implement that let me have it auto implement the repository And let's bring in the one for department service. They say not implemented. We'll have to add code for these. And we will do that in the next video. We've run out of time. So that'll do it for now. Thank you for watching. That's all for today.